So you wanna get into crypto mining. Well, you came to the right place. I've got this whole shelf in here where I'm mining on a variety of GPUs and also ASIC miners. These top units up here are ASICs. These are from Ice River. I have two KS0 Ultras and then two AL0 Alethium miners. If you wanna get into crypto mining, the first thing you need to decide is what kind of mining do you want to do? Do you want to purchase just a little ASIC miner that you plug in and it's immediately ready to use? Or do you wanna go through the hassle of building a GPU mining rig and using GPUs, consumer grade hardware to mine crypto. In my opinion, for very, very beginners, it's probably easier to go with the Ice River route, buying a little custom built ASIC miner for less than $150. So in this video, we're gonna set up an Ice River KS0 Ultra, and I'm gonna show you how to actually mine on it, what mining pool to use, are some better than others? We're gonna take a look at the whole process, so let's get into it. Now, if you're interested in getting into GPU mining, or CPU mining, then I'll leave a link up in the top right with my how to choose what type of mining to do. But today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at these Ice River units. So once you purchase one of these, what you wanna do is plug your ethernet cable in first. I've removed the panels on mine, but don't worry about that. Yours will have panels on them. And then the second thing you do is you just plug in the power supply to the little barrel plug in the back. And just like that, they're gonna be up and mining. So the green flashing light means they're mining. When you plug them in, it's gonna be mining to Ice River's wallet, which you obviously don't want. You want your own wallet on there. So let's take a look on how you actually set one of these things up and where to mine to. All right, so once you have your miner plugged in, we need to actually find it on our network. And this was the part that was pretty confusing to me as a first time miner. So you can see right here, I've actually got mine pulled up and this is the local IP address that this machine is on, but we need to actually figure out what IP address your machine is on. And that's where Ice River has this nice miner tool. So you can download this off of their Ice River site and it's gonna allow you to scan your network and find any Ice River devices that are on that network. So I've got four ASICs like you saw earlier and it's gonna find four machines and you can go through here and see which IP address each of these machines is on. So in this case, we are looking at the one that's on uh, 68.55, and that is what we have right here. So when you first get to this page, you're gonna have a login screen, and the login is just admin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the password, and then you're gonna get to this screen. And this is where, if you go to mining settings, you're going to see yourself mining to the Ice River mining pool or the Ice River wallet, which you've already paid them to buy this miner, so you don't wanna be paying them even more money. So you want to immediately switch this over to so that it's mining to your wallet. And to do that, you have to pick a mining pool first because how crypto mining works is you have your device, it's mining to a pool, and then that pool is paying you out to your wallet. The mining pool is basically going to pool the hash rate of everybody who's mining to it and then split the rewards equally to everybody who's mining on that pool. Now, this is generally better than what they call solo mining because you're guaranteed to at least get some money from your hash rate. On solo mining, you could mine for 10, 20 days and never hit a block and not get any money. So basically, pool mining takes the risk out of solo mining and that's why the majority of people are going to be pool mining. I am using emcd.io, that's the pool that we're gonna be using in this video and also the sponsor of this video. I've recently been getting into EMCD and they are a little bit more than just a normal pool. They sort of have a whole mining ecosystem and a whole kind of crypto ecosystem as well on their website and that's what I wanna go over in this video along with showing you how to finish setting this up. So. What you wanna do is go to emcd.io and create an account. When you sign up, if you use the code Modern Mining, no capitals or anything, you're gonna get 33% off of the pool fees for the next 30 days. So that's a good little deal if you guys need a Caspa pool or a Bitcoin pool or even a Litecoin pool because EMCD has all of these coins you can see right here. They even added Fractal Bitcoin relatively recently. So. Once you get an account set up, now you need to actually connect your miner to it. So you're gonna select Caspa or whichever coin you're mining from the dropdown, 
and then you're gonna hit this convenient connect button. And this is where it's gonna give you all of the different addresses that you wanna to mine to. But in this case, you we wanna choose United States because that's closest to us. And then it's gonna give us this address right here and let's copy that. So now we wanna go back to our miner and in this pool address field, you're gonna paste that in and then you're gonna paste in your wallet and your worker. So your wallet is the first item and then you put a period to separate your worker name. Since I have two KSR Ultras, I just named this one Ultra 2. Um, but to determine your worker, you go back to emcd.io and you can see it's got your worker right here. So you can copy this as well, paste this in here, and then change worker to whatever you want it to be. And in this case, we want it to be Ultra 2. And you can see here, you actually have three entries here. This is to specify backup mining pools. So for the pool two, you could set this to the EU server. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now in case something's going on with the NA server. And then for the third one, I have a different pool in here in case EMCD as a whole is down, though I haven't experienced that yet. So once you have this, you can ignore the password. I ignore the fan as well. And you hit save and then you're going to want to restart your device for this to actually take effect. So that's in the bottom right here, restart, and there you go. So let's take a look back at emcd.io and I've been mining to this pool for, you can see around uh, 15 days probably. I've had been having some internet issues lately. It took me a while to actually film this video. So there is a drop off, but we should see these start to pop back up. Yeah, there they are right here. So let's explore emcd.io because there is a lot of very cool features on this site. First off, I really like the look of it. The desktop version is a lot more clean looking than a lot of other pools like Hero Miners is basically just a little web page thrown together, whereas this almost feels like a kind of nice web app. So you can see your historical hash rate. And if you guys don't know, hash rate is going to fluctuate it's not just a straight line, it's always fluctuating. You can be higher than your hash rate, you can be lower than your reported hash rate. It's all over the place, but over time, it should hold a pretty average value. Now it's gonna show you exactly how much you mine per day. So on October 22nd, I mined 6.7 CASPA, and in, I currently have 136 CASPA ready to be paid out. It's also showing my workers as inactive right now because of the internet issues I showed you, but normally this will show as active. So let's go over to workers. And now you can see that these are showing as active. Just gonna show you your hash rate at one hour, at 24 hours, and your rejects. Rejects is determined basically on if your internet speed is slow or there's other issues going on, then your reject percentage is gonna be high. You want this below 1% for sure, and hopefully below even like a half a percent. The rewards page is one of my favorite pages because it lets you kind of see your historical earnings. So if you've been mining Caspa, you know that the last few days, there have been a lot of block rewards in Caspa as people mint these KRC20 tokens. There's more Caspa per block. Basically the reward for miners is bigger. And this historical chart is where you could see that. So unfortunately, I've been having internet problems during this period. It's about the worst time to have it. But you can see on the 21st, I mined about 6.8. And then on the 22nd, I mined 9. And then on the 23rd, I mined 6.7. But take a look at this because on the 21st, I was mining with 816 giga hash was my average hash rate across the whole day, which basically equates to full uptime. My miners did not crash and I didn't have any internet problems. But on the 23rd, my hash rate was one fourth of that value, but I still earned the exact same amount of CASPA, which means I basically made about 4X the amount of CASPA that day. And I wouldn't be able to track that unless I could see these historical rewards. Now, another interesting thing is you can kind of just track the rewards slightly going down per day as the CASPA hash rate increases. So if you guys remember, I have uh, 136 CASPA ready to be paid out to my wallet. So let's take a look at how you actually get that paid out. If you go to settings here, then you're gonna select to an outside wallet. Um, you can also deposit it to EMCD has their own wallets built into this web app, which you can use if you want, but keep in mind that this is not 
your coins that you're holding. EMCD is basically holding these. But if you just have a small amount that you are not planning on holding long term, then this can be a short little e intermediate wallet. And these are all the coins that they have wallets for. So you can actually store all your coins on here if you wanted to. Now going back to getting paid out, I want to actually pay this out to my Tangem wallet. And um, if you guys don't have a Tangem wallet, it's the best hard wallet for crypto miners. It's got a ton of coins, including Caspa. And I'm actually gonna be doing a partnership with EMCD to give away a awesome white Tangem wallet sometime in the next couple months. But I'll have a referral link down below for Tangem. I think you get $10 off if you use that. So if you don't have one, check it out. So we want to withdraw to an outside wallet and we want our minimum payout to be 100 caspa this just means anytime i mine over 100 i'm going to get paid out and this right here is my tangem address you just paste that in so now we'll hit save and next payout round i will be getting a payout since my coins are above the minimum value right here last thing i want to talk about is the coin hold feature. So I generally do not promote any sort of APY uh, staking crypto platform because you guys know in the last bull run there were so many issues. But I will go ahead and just show this to you guys if anyone is interested. It basically allows you to lock up coins with emcd.io and then you're gonna get a percentage back on them. So for example, if you locked up Bitcoin for a whole year, you're gonna get 8% back, no questions asked. But if you put in USDT, you can actually get 12% back. But it, if you select no early withdrawals, you're going to get an extra 2% for 14% back. So sounds very good. But just keep in mind, guys, this is somewhat risky. There has been a lot of uh, historical issues with lending platforms like this. But it is interesting. And EMC.io has the ability to actually bring your mining rewards directly into the coin hold feature to basically get some additional APY on what you're mining. But I'll just say again, do that at your own risk and make sure you do the proper research before putting money into lending platforms. And the last feature I wanted to tell you guys about is the calculator page on emcd.io slash pool. This is pretty cool. It's gonna allow you to actually put in your exact hash rate and then see what your expected payments are. So I was getting 1.2 terahash and then I was getting 0.8 after I took off my overclock. So let's go ahead and just use the average of one. But if you go down to Caspa here and click this calculator icon, you can actually put in your hash rate here and get an estimated payout of what you're gonna be getting every single day. So if we put in one terahash, we can see with the 1.5 uh, pool fee, which will be 33% off if you use my code Modern Mining, you'll be getting 28.5 cash per, per day for an income of $3.7 every single day. Now this is pretty inflated right now because of the KRC minting that I was talking about earlier, but still that's pretty good considering these devices only cost like 120 bucks right now. So overall, I've had a good experience with emcd.io. Um, I've been mining on them for about 15 days now, haven't had any issues with uptime or anything. You guys remember that I've been testing a lot of different pools out to try to figure out if any of them are better for me, and I'm gonna continue doing that. So don't forget, if you're gonna sign up to emcd.io, use code Modern Mining. might as well get a discount on your fees, and I'll see you guys next time. I've got some awesome content coming out as it gets colder outside. I'm gonna be begin to move a lot of these miners inside my house and actually get free heat from my crypto miners. So they're gonna be making me money and also heating my house, which is pretty awesome. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.